I dropped a poll on YouTube, man. Checking with the community to see if there was anything that y'all were struggling in particular with when it comes to y'all 360 waves. A lot of y'all struggling with that crown. In this video, I'm gonna give you three simple steps to help you enhance and better that crown so you can take control of it, so you can feel like every time you're dealing with the crown, you know what you're doing. I'm Bean Town Spence for anyone who's new, here to teach you about 360 waves. Like, share, subscribe. We always in the building. Every single step is very important to closing your crown, tightening your crown, all those things you want to do with your crown. Before you can tighten and close, shift, or fix your crown, a lot of us, and I'm sure a lot of you, are not even sure where your crown is. If you're struggling with finding your crown, there are two things you can do. One is scalping. Most people, especially if you're a beginner, don't want to scalp, which is cool. I ain't never scalp. I don't plan on scalping. You can see your whole bald head and you can see where your crown is at. Or you can just cut to a 1.5. A lot of people don't like cutting low, especially, you know, the texture of your hair. I understand coarse hair wavers. Some of us don't like cutting, cutting that low. But for the purpose of trying to find your crown, cutting to a 1.5 will help you understand that swirl pattern and where you know, your hair specifically grows from your crown. Like, you'll just be able to see it. That is important when it comes to trying to close and fix your crown and, you know, trying to understand how to attack your crown. Outside of the three steps that I'm about to give you, there are three other things that you need to understand comes along with this process that you need to have if you are serious about fixing your crown. One, patience consistency and execution. The reason why I'm telling you that is because these three steps is not gonna change your crown after this one video. It don't work like that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it don't work like that. These three steps are things that you have to repeat and do daily. But I promise you and I guarantee you that you will close your crown. So just trust. And believe in your boy. See how my crown looking. Because y'all probably like, what is crown looking like? He talking all that talk, man. What is crown looking like? All right, all right, all right. Don't beat me up. Don't beat me up. You know what I'm saying? You looking kind of tough, though. Go ahead. Y'all go rate my crown out of 10. Let me know in the comments, man. Let me have it. The crown takes patience, consistency, and execution. Y'all know anybody that refers to the crown as a bald spot? Not a bald spot. It's not. The first step, and the first thing you will need, is a comb. I'm gonna tell you what you need and what you need to do with it. If I give you these steps, you just have to execute them daily, in the morning. At night, whenever you can. Comb, depending on your length, you need to comb. Now, before we even get into this, also, wolfing is a big part of, you know, forming that crown as well. Because some of y'all are not wolfing enough to where you can even really wave up that crown area and execute that crown area the way you need to be. So I also need y'all to understand that wolfing, you need to make sure you are wolfing so that, you know, you have a nice head of hair to where when I tell you to apply these steps, you will be able to do it nicely and smoothly. Right around that crown area. I'm not gonna mess up my crown right now because y'all see how the crown looking crazy. I'm not gonna mess it up right now. So don't, don't, don't trip. Around that crown area. Just literally comb around solely the crown. Combing is a big part of smoothing out your waves, stretching out your waves so that you can lay them down. And as you're combing your 360 waves, you need to be combing your crown. Combing your crown will help you find the flow. Find out where that hair is flowing from. It will show you your flow pattern. That's why you need to comb slowly to see in what direction that hair is flowing. Uh, the crown naturally swirls. I recommend a lot of you beginners 
to stick to the natural swirl pattern of your crown because that's going to be easy to follow. If you want a beehive, I'll show y'all how to do that in future videos. Second step, get a curved brush. A curved brush, and we're only going to use the pointy tip of the brush. Again, I'm not going to mess up my crown. My crown looking kind of crazy. Brush. That crown. Same way you was combing it out. Just follow that same comb pattern you was doing with the brush. Nice and slowly though. Don't rush. Don't rush. Go ahead and like the video if you are following what I'm saying, man. I'm trying to get y'all right. I'm trying to get the crown right. Like the video if you're following what I'm saying. For the last step, a moisturizer or a pomade. Honestly, it really don't matter which one you want to use for this crown method. Either one will work. When it comes to products, most of them say a dime size. So we want to take a dime size. I usually struggle with what a dime size is, but just think of a dime. You feel me? My personal preference when I first started out doing this, trying to fix for my crown, I didn't really like messing with the palm me. So I just used the curl enhancer for my waves to wave up my crown area. Take a dime size. You want to take the palm me or the moisturizer and apply it. Just pretend I got a dime size on my finger. Y'all following? Let's get it. You comb, you wanna boom, put the moisturizer or the palm me all around your crown. You following? All just around the crown area. Boom, 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 boom. We gonna brush that in. Boom, 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 boom. For the finishing touch, how many steps did I say? Three? This might be four, but it's all good. Bonus. You gonna go on with a two brush. My brushes are cool. If you can get a crown brush, that's fine, but a two brush works just as well. We're gonna put the finishing touch on our crown method, on our daily routine that you're gonna be doing in the morning, at night, whenever you can. We're gonna just go on with the two brush. Boom, 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 boom. Obviously, when you do that, each step, when you're combing, you're gonna take your time. When you're brushing the crown, you're gonna take your time. When you go in with the toothbrush, you're gonna take your time. When you apply the moisturizer, you're gonna take the take your time. Out of the three or four steps that I gave y'all, you're gonna need patience, consistency, because this is something that you gotta continuously do. The crown is not gonna shift or close or change overnight. It takes time, but honestly, how much time it takes is up to you. You can have your crown up on point in two weeks, for real, for real, if you just put in that work. And I guarantee, doing that, you will see your crown come together. You will feel more confident about your waves. You'll be more confident about taking your waves serious. Part of us taking this wave thing serious is actually seeing progress and making progress. That's what motivates us. When we see our waves starting to flow, the collection, connections are starting to look flawless, that's what motivates us. So I dropped this video because I noticed that y'all were struggling with y'all crown, and I just wanted to give y'all some motivation, man. The highest thing y'all were struggling from that pull that I dropped was side waves. If you want some tips on how to get waves on the side, go ahead and check this video out next, and I'll see y'all over there in that one. It's your boy Beantown Spence. We always in the building.